Pleased to be joined today by Spokane Chiefs defenseman and St. Louis Blues prospect, Will McIsaac. So Will, thanks for taking the time today. We didn't get to actually see you in Vegas. So can you share a little bit of your draft story, where you were and how you found out? Yeah, I was, uh, I chose to stay at home with just with, uh, my family. So it was, uh, my parents and then I had my two siblings and, uh, my grandparents over and, um, it was a pretty cool experience. Like, like a lot of the guys said, it's kind of an out of body experience, you know, something you work so hard for. Um, and when, once you hear your name called, it's a pretty cool experience. So, yeah. What was your reaction and your family's reaction after you heard your name come up? Um, well, it was, it was on commercial break and I actually got a, I got a text from my agent. So I, I kind of knew already and I was trying to play it off for when, when it came on the TV, but I think everyone kind of caught me smiling. So, um, but my reaction, I mean, just a smile on my face and pretty like happy, obviously. And, uh, it was, it was super cool to be with all my family and all the emotions kind of going on in that room. So, yeah. Who did you hear from first from the Blues organization? Um, I got a call from just a draft table, I think maybe like 15 minutes after and kind of just passed the phone, phone around and got to say hi to kind of everyone, I think. And um, I mean, it was, it was pretty cool. I don't even remember what I said, to be honest. It was just like so crazy. What's the turnaround like afterwards to get to go to your first NHL development camp? Um, I mean, it's pretty quick. I'm sure like a lot of guys, either the day of or the day after I left uh, the next morning and um, just a long day of travel. And I mean, it's uh, pretty cool to once you get in there and you get get to meet your roommate and stuff and get to meet all these other like super, super good hockey players. And it's just a, it's a cool experience, all different stories, different paths. So it's awesome. What stuck with you about experiencing that professional environment for the first time with the on ice and off ice training? Um, there's a lot of things that kind of stuck with me, but I think the the biggest thing was the preparation and and the dedication um, all the guys have. It's it's uh, definitely like a big jump, I'd say, from junior. Um, we got to see like a couple of the NHL guys come in kind of like on the side doing their training in the summer and uh, Colton Pranko, you just got to watch him put some hard work in, in the gym and working with the trainers and all that stuff, just trying to get better. Like, um, you know, even though he's in the NHL already, he's always trying to get better. So I think just taking that stuff away. Uh, what did you hear from the blues in terms of what they like about your game and what they want you to work on this year? Um, yeah, they said, uh, they were talking about how they liked how physical I am, kind of the more stay at home defenseman, uh, puck moving physical. And I think just working on all my crafts, you know, passing and improving everything just a little bit is, uh, will take me to another step. So just keep working on that stuff. And in terms of the camp roster, there were quite a few WHL guys there as well. Uh, Mersick from Medicine Hat is also a Lower Remainland guy. Did you know each other or play against each other at all growing up? Yeah, we pretty much played against and with each other since, I don't know, maybe like five, six, seven, eight, like in spring hockey to, to minor hockey. And then we played together at uh, like Team BC was a fun one. And but so, yeah, like we knew each other pretty good from before. And what's it like going from, you know, squirt hockey when you guys are seven years old to sharing that first NHL experience together? Oh, I mean, it's awesome. It's pretty, it's like, like I said, it's pretty surreal. It's like almost like an out of body experience. So um, just like even being in the locker room, like seeing all that stuff is just crazy. So it was fun. Before the WHL season starts, you're taking off for the Blues Prospect Showcase. Uh, what impression do you hope you can leave with the team at that event? Um, I think I want to kind of showcase like uh, a pro mindset, kind of, like I said, kind of taking away from what I saw, like uh, working hard, stretching, like just being ready. And then also like taking care of my body on and off the ice, eating good food and and that stuff, and I think that'll show that I'm like uh, I'm learning from the older guys and and kind of getting ready to to hopefully move on in a couple of years to that to that stage. 
Uh, what personal goals have you set for yourself heading back to Spokane? Um, I'd say this year I'd, I'd like to be a little bit more of a leader with still quite a bit of a younger team and um, having a couple more years under my belt now. Um, and then also just, I mean, as a team, I think it's an important year to finally start getting some win, wins under our belt. Um, all new coaches, and I, I think everyone's super excited about that. And, uh, yeah, just, just get some more wins, I think, is the main goal for us this year. So, The Chiefs have also announced that they're throwing their hat in the ring to host the Memorial Cup when it comes out west again. Why do you think Spokane should host in 2026? Uh, I think it would be a great, great experience for – or great thing for Spokane to host it. I mean, we have a great city, great arena, great fans, definitely one of the best fans in the league. Um, and I think it's just a great spot and also will be a good team for competing for that Memorial Cup as well. So I think we're all excited about getting our chance to, to host that. Great. Well, thanks so much for the chat today, Will. Enjoy camp and good luck this season. Yeah, thank you very much.